Interesting weather pattern gripping much of the country. We got this continued deep trough of low pressure sitting here across the Pacific Northwest, Montana, and the central and northern Rockies. So a lot of cool air being drained down into this upper level trough. But on the exit side of this, we get a strong southwest flow, and a lot of strong, severe thunderstorms are expected to grip much of Texas, Oklahoma, and possibly into Kansas, and a high risk that there could be deadly and damaging thunderstorms and or tornadoes. You can see a lot of heavy rain in Kansas, but we're going to keep a close eye on what develops basically across Oklahoma, central, and northern Texas here over the next couple of hours. That'll probably make uh, some uh, news headlines tonight on the CBS Evening News. Winter storm watch is up for South Central Montana, the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness areas. Tuesday morning through Wednesday evening could see some moderate to heavy snow. Strong winds going to feel more like winter in the backcountry than it will late spring. So here is the setup this afternoon down along the Montana Idaho line. Still picking up some off and on snow showers on Interstate 15 over Manida Pass and over Reynolds Pass as well on Montana 87 down towards uh, the West Yellowstone area. So the spotty nature, there's a low to our south and again we're seeing everything spinning counterclockwise so everything's pushing in from the east to the west and we're still getting these gusty winds and pockets of off and on valley rain and mountain snow over the next 24, 48, maybe even 72 hours but it's not going to be precipitating the entire time. So we could pick up a little bit of wet weather between Butte and Bow but I think the lion's share is going to be down there along the Montana, Idaho, Wyoming state line, Lima, West Yellowstone, Big Sky, Livingston, and certainly into the Red Lodge areas over the next two days.